Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to design a professional invoice or bill using Microsoft Excel. Let's begin. Step 1. Create a new workbook. First, open Microsoft Excel and create a new blank workbook. Step 2. Page Setup We'll set up the page for printing. Go to the Page Layout tab. Click on Size and select A4 as the page size. You can also choose another page size if needed. Now we'll set up custom margins. Click on Margins. Select Custom Margins. Adjust the top, bottom, left and right margins as per your design preference. I'll also set the header and footer margins for the page. Now, select the page layout view. Step 3. Design the invoice layout. In this step, we will design the main layout of the invoice. Now, I will select these cells and merge them. After merging, I'll change the background color of the merged cell. This area is ideal for entering your company name and address. To add a line break within the cell, I'll press Alt plus Enter. Next, I'll middle align the text for a clean, centered look. Then, I'll change the font style and increase the font size. Now, I'll insert an oval shape. I'll change its fill color. Increase the outline width and also change the outline color. I'll insert a logo image. Then, I'll select Oval Shape and the logo and align them using Align Center and Align Middle. Now, I'll insert a rectangle shape. I'll change the fill color. Then adjust the shape size. Inside this shape, I'll type the word invoice. Change the font. Increase the font size and middle align the text. I'll press Ctrl plus P to open Print Preview. Next, I'll create a dedicated space to enter the date of the invoice. I'll select a blank cell, format them, and add a label like Date.
Next, I'll create a space to enter the time. I'll select a cell, type the label time, and apply a border around it. Now, I'll select these cells and merge them to write client info. To add space for client information, I'll leave a few blank rows under this section. Next, I'll merge another group of cells and label it Payment Details. Just like before, I'll leave some space below this section as well. Now, I'll select the bottom cells and apply borders to create a table. This section will include serial number, item description, price, quantity, total. Next, I'll create a section for subtotal, tax, and total price. Now, I'll create a space to add the terms and conditions. Next, I'll create a section at the bottom for contact information, such as phone number website, business address. This makes the invoice look professional and provides clients with ways to get in touch.
Invoice layout design. Complete. To preview how it will look when printed, I'll press Ctrl plus P to open the print preview window. Step 4. Adding formulas to the invoice. Now, I'll add formula for date and time. To display the current date and time automatically in your spreadsheet, just use this formula, equals now, with parentheses. Since the date and time can be automatically generated using formulas, I'll use the previous time section to add the invoice serial number instead. I'll select the cell, type serial number. Now, I'll add a sample client's information to demonstrate how the invoice works in real life. Next, I'll fill in the payment details section. Now, I will create a drop-down menu here. There will be some product names. For this, I will create a new sheet. Now, I will use the data validation feature. Click data, then data validation. Set up validation criteria. To fetch the product prices automatically, I'll use the VLOOKUP formula. This formula will search the product name from a list and return the corresponding price. Now, I will multiply the product quantity by its price to get the total.
To calculate the subtotal, I'll use the sum formula to add up the total prices of all listed items. Now I will add 5% tax on the subtotal. In the tax cell, I will type equal to subtotal cell multiplied by 5%. Now I will calculate the final price by adding the subtotal and the tax. For that, I will use the sum formula. Next, I will create a space for the signature. After that, I will check the final print preview. Our invoice design is now complete. If you liked the video, please give it a like, comment your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.